Howdy guys, Zany here, and welcome back to Undertale, and I'm afraid I had to skip so much because I was interrupted almost 50 times last time trying to record. So anyways, we have a bunch of healing items here today, and we are going to head over to Hotland. I believe so. No, 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 not Hotland. Sorry. We're going to head over to Undyne's house and hang out with her. So... Yeah, that's pretty much all we are going to be probably doing today. We are, um, just going to be hanging out with Undyne, and then we're going to go back and talk to Alphys. And of course, my computer is going to be running out of battery at this very moment. Yay. Love how my computer acts. Anyways, let's just head over... I forgot to save here last time because I didn't really think I needed to save. It, oops. Um. You know what? I'll be right back and get a charger. Alright, I am back. Ready to hang out with Dine? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yes, I shall hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Jesus, come on. This stupid flipping laptop, I hate it. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for an extra private one on one training? You bet I am. And I'm our friend. Hi, I don't think we've. Why don't you two come in? Hi, Adine. Hey, Adine, my friend brought you this... this for you on your own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Just has a whole drawer of them. So, are you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go use the bathroom. You do have fun. Well, I'm gonna go join Papyrus now, bye. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he literally just jumped out of the glass is still there. It looks like they're, they're little hearts, if you can kind of look at them. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Well, duh. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. That sounds exactly like me. Why would I ever be friends with you, even if you weren't my house? If you were my house guest, I'd be you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hope. Every. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'll never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Dang. What a shame. I thought I'm done. Could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to challenge. Challenge? What? The virus? Wait just a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? What is up with that laugh? I swear. In the face. Just that really charming looking face. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with any with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! Oh god, I didn't even look at it down at her sprite. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> okay, it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sure. The music here is just awesome. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Well, I just drink some cream soda. Give me a second, Dine. All set. What would you like? Oh, Jesus. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. I'm. I, I, why don't you just boil it? What? You can use the spear. 
But if I point the sword, believe me, I will gladly give you, give you, give you your fill of swords. If you were my beloved house guest. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> that sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give up a cup of sugar. I'm gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with evil with energy spheres? Are there ice cream songs cured with to pre prelude to destruction? Is that it? No. That's what I thought. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed it, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's fine. I think so does Ghost, too. You're off your teeth. You're off your mind. You're off your fighting spirit. Huh. Why do I have it? That face. T, huh? Coming right up. I just have the spirit ready. If I were evil, I would have just attacked her right then and there. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. I was expecting it to be really quiet, but I guess not. Okay, it's all done. Here you are. Yeah. And then, be careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the, nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend, yeah! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Oscar's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. I'm trying to make my best and die impression ever. It's stupid, though. You know, I was a pretty hothead kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single bro bleh blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. That's cute. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's not really that weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you, and then he ended up being friends with you instead. I can never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into, into tiny little- He would get ripped into little smiling shreds. I don't know why I said tiny. That's the part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're already out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Sudden realization. Wait a second. Papyrus, it's a cooking lesson. He was supposed to have it right now. And if he's not he here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> no, she broke her mind. That's right. Nothing has brought me and Papyrus. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Bad grammar. Which means that if I give you his lesson, We'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Haha, <laughs> afraid? We're gonna be best friends. The way how she just took me by the hair. Hey, let's go! Boom, boom. Just out of nowhere. Let's start with the sauce. Boom. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, punch them in the dust of your fists. 
How are you feeling? Strong or wimpy? I'm a pretty wimpy kid, so I pet the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah! Boom! Well, uh, I'll just scare that into the bowl later. But for now, boom! We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. <laughs> They're the cheapest. Yeah! Anyway, just yeah, put them in the pot. How you put them in the pot? Firstly, you throw everything in the, into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It cleans against the empty box. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now let's stir the pasta. As a general thumb, the stirring one. The better it is. Ready? Let's do it! Oh. I'm stirring as hard as I can! I can't press any harder than this! This is literally. <laughs> Really is holy crap, that hurt my hand. Oh, and that was like the hand I carried bags up with. Ah. Um that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn the heat. Let's turn the stove to synchronize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't let me back. Whee. Hotter! I'm doing as hot as I can! That's what she said! Hotter! That's what she said! <laughs> Wait, that's too... Oops. Ah... Uh, man, no wonder why Papar sucks at cooking. Can I at least try it? So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Eh. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed up this time. I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. So people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel if you if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. <laughs> I'm sorry. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. When finally match. It's the only way. Get blah, 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 blah. Now come on, hit me a little all you got. Uh, you pretend to swing with undying at your all with all your might. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'm terrible. I swear, if I actually hit someone, I bet it would take one damage. That's the best you can manage, even attacking at full force. You can just muster any intent to hurt me. <laughs> you know what? Drop spear. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... <laughs> Saccharine... St what is she saying? I have no idea what the heck she's saying. I'm only 12. I mean 13. What am I talking about? The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Was it Asriel? Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can pers persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some me human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Huh. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls. Cross the barrier. I beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Yep. You sound exactly like one of my greatest friends. Now let's get the hell out of the flaming house. You should say flaming hell. But um, <laughs> kill me. <clears throat> well, that was fun. We'll have to hang out again another time. But uh. Somewhere else, I guess. Yeah. Don't mean the koi. <laughs> Dear God, I'm slowly turning into sands. So if you need me, drop by Snowden. Oh, oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later, punk. Well, that was fun. Hanging out with Undyne took out the whole episode. I guess we'll end it off here. I'll see you guys later. 
Goodbye.